when you run SI wave and you would like to do DCIR analysis, which is this part, whether from here or from here, as you may know, what you need to do is you need to specify uh, a voltage source and a current source. A voltage source is the place where you know for sure what is the voltage on your power plane, and the current source is where you know how much your die is withdrawing current when it's uh, active. Now, uh, SI wave, as usual, uh, assumes that these two ports are placed right where um, uh, the discrete components are or the integrated circuit are. But suppose you want to put it in a random place. So in order to do that, SI wave allows you to do that through uh, assigning uh, these ports in a manual way in, a, in any place, in a random place. So this is our voltage source here. You click on it and you can place it anywhere you want between, for example, this point and this point. I'm randomly selecting and I say here the ground. Okay. Then you specify what is the magnitude and you specify the impedance and usually it's it's very low impedance um, for the parasitic resistance and you click OK. It's called V underscore one. And when I want to talk about the die, I want to place a current source on a die. I press here. This is the current source. And I specify, for example, between this pad and this pad. I'm just choosing random locations. So you see here, I can specify this and I say uh, this one will be withdrawing, for example, one amp. And that's how you can um, put your ports anywhere you want. Thank you.